WL. Ollie's with Willie today. Coming up at 2.06, Colonel Oliver North joins Willie right here on the big one. There is a uh, letter in the paper today. This is, the, this is great from uh, Jim in Lebanon. Said, uh, the story, the streetcar gets $35 million from Ohio in December 10th edition of the Inquirer. Could have been summarized rather simply. Our bankrupt federal government grants money to our bankrupt state that grants money to our bankrupt city for a streetcar project that nobody wants. Jim, I like the cut of your jib. Our bankrupt federal government grants money to our bankrupt state that grants money to our bankrupt city for a streetcar project that nobody wants. Then he went on to say, the arrogance and ignorance of our government at all level, levels continues to amaze me. He's right. And that was my overall impression last night from the members of city council. I was in Westwood at the Cincinnati budget meeting, and I just stood back and looked at the expressions on their faces. These people aren't there listening to the constituents. They're there, propped up, I'm sure in the back of their mind saying, just sit here for two hours until we can move on. Great, we're done. They know what they're going to do. They're not listening to people. The only people they're listening to is if somehow there is a, a political threat involved. That's it. They're not listening to the people that come out there and say keep the pools open or keep the trolley car or don't have the trolley car. They're just sitting there taking up space. It's a big game. The arrogance. Oh, the mayor wasn't there, but his security guard was. Yeah, he was there. And I came in. I got there about, uh, it started at 6. I got there about 6.25-ish, something like that. I stayed till a little after 8 when it wrapped up. So I missed um, what had happened with security guard. One lady actually addressed that, that he was sitting there laughing. She did, apparently... She took offense at it. So I don't know. Yeah, Scotty Johnson. I I don't know if he was really laughing at her. I don't know what happened at that point. But after she said that, then I did see him. He was laughing and mocking at that. It's a game. They look at the constituents like they're a joke. No, it's certainly not just Cincinnati City Council. Politicians and elected servants all over the place that are like that. I went up to, um, I went up afterwards, after, after it broke up about 10 after 8 or whatever it was, they, they all came out from, about half of them came out from behind that long table they sit at. Birding and Qualls were both sitting there still. About half left of the other half, they all stood up with the exception of Birding and Qualls. And they sat there and they were having a conversation with their hand over their mouth like this, kind of off to the side so no one could read their lips, you know, turn to each other like this, you know, just kind of back and forth and sat there. So I waited a couple minutes and a couple more of the council people filed out from behind the table and I walked up and I wanted to uh, introduce myself to Jeff Birding because I had him on yesterday. I I wasn't expecting him to uh, give me the the old welcome home, uh, long lost cousin routine or anything. I just wanted to introduce myself because I did invite him on the show to come and talk about some of the regionalization efforts, some other things that could save money down the road. I think that's a pretty good topic. I think that's something that's good for uh, the tri-states to, to regionalize some services. So I walked up. I introduced myself, said, excuse me, uh, Mr. Birding. Uh, I'm Doc Thompson from 700 WLW. I had you on the air earlier today. I just wanted to say hi. He goes, oh, yeah, hey, hey how you doing? And turned away. I don't think he looked at me for a half second and turned back to uh, Qualls. Just continue it as conversation. I mean, like I said, I wasn't expecting, not not because I work at the station, it's not it, it's just general common courtesy. If you meet someone, they put out their hand and introduce themselves, that you say, oh, it's nice to meet you. And, you know, give you that look in the eye. He was like, oh, yeah, yeah, how you doing? Anyways, Roxanne, uh, what the hell? So I just blew it off and figured, okay, maybe he doesn't like me. That's fine. All right. I start to walk away and a guy comes up to me and goes, hey, 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 move along. Get out. He's shooing me off. I I was, excuse me. I'm sorry. Get out of there. Get out of there. Uh, Wait till they come from behind the table. 
before you talk to them. Wait till they come from behind the table? Who the hell do you think these people are? Are they kings and queens, lords and ladies? They're elected servants. Not elected officials, elected servants. Elected to serve the people of the city of Cincinnati. Elected servants. They'll talk to after they come from behind the table. I was already walking away anyway. It is a power trip. It was a power trip from this little security guard and a power trip from the members of council. I didn't run right up there. I didn't get in their face. I wasn't, uh, you know, causing a ruckus. There was not. There was nobody else there. Everybody else had left the table. And at that point, and I'm not saying this because of me. This has nothing to do with me that I was personally offended. No, not at all. I'm saying this is the attitude that I see over and over again from elected servants, local, region, state, federal. I don't know what happens when you get elected that suddenly, somehow, you think you are special. I guess it's the same attitude that rock stars get. No, you, you'll take the, the boy or girl next door that becomes a rock and roll star. And at first, they are just the nicest, most thankful person And then somehow they go crazy and demand that you pick on all the green M&Ms that have to be in their dressing room and that you have to massage their feet. And it's the Diana Ross, don't look at me, avert your eyes as I pass. That's what I got last night. It's it's amazing. All right, I'll get some of your calls coming up next on 700 W. It's Doc Thompson on 700 WLW. I, I really am tired of the arrogance. I think you have two type of people that I battle when it comes to government every day. The people with the wrong ideas and the elitists. Sometimes it's the same person.